hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl Steffi today's video is going to be a topic that I have wanted to do for a while now so here it is and I hope you guys enjoy it this video is going to be on how I spend money and how I save money at the same time on the average pay if you can say it it's kind of like limited but I think you can do that on every amount of pay you get out there but for me I have set times of work I do and a set amount of money that come in I don't really have the other income that come in to play with it but before we get into it and in more details and all that kind of stuff i want to make a disclaimer first of all i'm not a financial advisor i haven't studied financial i haven't did anything related to financial money bank anything like that i have no knowledge on that except for the one i experienced myself and i have seen if you guys decided to try the method i'm about to share with you guys just know this is not from a financial advisor and it just something I did I think that it worked for me I'm not so sure if it worked for you it depends on how you go about it if that makes sense so in this video I'm going to be talking about a little bit of the background why this video came to be I'll also talk about how to go about finding out what is working if your process is working for you or not or if you think that you need to implement more things because you're watching this video because it's not working so let me just say I'll also talk about how I save my money and I'll also show you how I spend the money because some of the things that I do tend to be like mix and match sometimes my friend wonder why I'm able to get these things when I don't have like enough money in my bank or I don't make match if that makes sense so let's get started by the background which is I work with the NHS so I work in the hospital blah 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 I'm not a nurse I'm not a doctor so I don't earn that much crazy money that most doctor or nurse get because I'm not even part of that section I I didn't study all of that kind of stuff that's like a headache for me <laughs> So I don't do that. I work in the stereo service department, which is SSD, and meaning that I deal with like disinfected instruments for operation, dental, set, and all that kind of stuff. So I mainly deal with those type of instruments. So it's a little bit more complicating because you have different set and different section of it. But I'm not going in detail because that's work. If you guys want to know more about my work situation, leave a comment down below and I will do a video about it. I work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. Friday. I work 37.5 a week. I get paid every week so I get my money every week so I plan my expenses with that kind of stuff by the money I get. Technically I get more than that a week. I get around like 400 and something like that a week because it depends how many hours I work a week but I live in the UK so meaning that I get deducted tax and I insurance number I don't know why we pay tax and and I I don't know it's like it's a UK point. so I get paid tax and I and I also get deducted for my pension because with the if you work with the government or I think company whatever they also have the option of you get deducted for your pension so later if you move on you can't collect it after you retire you get the option to not being on the pension program or stuff like that if you don't want them to take money for pension stuff like if you don't even want it so you can't say no I don't want it you have to fill up the form and all that kind of stuff and they will stop taking pension money your pay but for me i decided to leave it it never hurt you to keep saving somewhere else at the end of all of that deduction they do i end up getting 360 a week literally that's what i get every week remember the 360 is after tax and all the deduction is not before that so a month that would be 1444 is barely any anything and can you imagine a year where i'll get like 17,280 a year yeah, literally nothing mind you i don't do other job like side hustle or this kind of stuff except for youtube obviously which i'm not getting any penny from right now so <laughs> I have no other income so I had to come up with a way for me to enjoy life at the same time save like you never know what will happen sometimes saving is actually good I know some people say why are you saving you can just do whatever you want whatever blah 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 listen I want to save because I don't want stress that's my motivation of saving and I also want to spend money I did try a method that I saw by Patricia Bright I follow her like crazy I love her with that kind of stuff I saw her she was amazing anyway i follow her so she have like a channel called the break and then she show how she was managing her budget and with that kind of stuff so she done something like a budget tracker so i kind of did a similar version so this is not accurate she done it like 
in December to December and then she done like your income, your expense, your travel, your personal cost, all this kind of stuff, your saving and all that kind of craziness. I did my version of it obviously. At the end of each month you need to like write down all these expenses you think you did all that kind of stuff and in a way I think it was like kind of long and too much information like I have no time. Yeah this is working at the beginning but at the same time it wasn't working for me so I changed into something like this. I started asking myself Myself, what do I spend my money on? What do I want to spend money on? Why do I want to save money? I start asking myself those questions. So I would say, okay, let me just write it down. Instead of just me just saying it out loud and then next time forget about it, I decided to write it down so that it would be easier for me to brainstorm. <laughs> so I did that. I said, this question, obviously, how you can see here. So it's like, what I earn roughly annually? When am I planning to get the whole? like getting my new I want to get my place because my room if you haven't seen my room is very small it's tiny when I say tiny there's no room for me to do much things that's why most of the video I want to do I'm not able to do it okay cool let's leave it at and so what I have in my saving right now what I think I need to save what of the range I'm looking into for the home so all this kind of stuff as I write it down so like in 2024 roughly around May or June so I'm thinking maybe around May or June I'll be able to move out. It's not happening <laughs> because I don't know. I've done this before COVID so like when COVID hit everything was a mess. I got to the point I was depressed so let's just keep it simple like that. After that I said how am I going to save money? So I started looking on a week basic, a month basic, saving, expenses, rent, length of like my saving. I started looking at all this kind of stuff and I see that I was like literally in the negative. I was literally in negative i was not even a penny saved i was in negative i have my saving but technically i have been touching my saving throughout the years without even me noticing i was doing that i was like oh i'll put it back later i'd keep taking money for my saving and i would say oh i'll put it back later this kind of mentality just pushed me to touch my saving which made me go in negative which i was so shocked when i was looking at my saving and i was like i used to have this much money and if i have saved all this money until now i could actually move out in my plan like yeah so that was that point so as i'm doing something i'd say i have to make some change i had to make some change so how i decided to make some change was like create a new system of way i save money and spend money in kind of like in saving kind of mentality so i will start by go to my bank statement from the last two months because that's when you see the repeat expense that you do i'm using the barclays i'm using monzo and i have money box the one i want you to focus on is this one money management my budget too this is what i want you guys to focus on when you sign looking into your bank statement the last two to three months you put down in like a budget sheet like this so for me i pay for rent to my mom so i pay 300 a month for rent because i live with my family so it's not like expensive of a rent like most people out there are spending it lucky for me i live with my family so it's kind of less i pay for my phone which is my phone itself so i also pay for travel assurance but this one technically i took it off this year so i don't pay for it anymore but i will pay for it um around september because i'm actually traveling in october i'm going to japan also they increased the price for it is now 22 not 80 pounds which that was the reason why i cancel and i pay for wi-fi i don't pay for spotify because i don't see the point of me spending money on music because of some ad i will listen to ad if i can save money i find ways if i see that it's not necessary for me to spend money on those things i will literally cancel it so i did a list before it used to be longer than this but i cancel most of them so i shoot it and the one that are still on the list even though there's nothing i'm paying for it is because down the line in the future i'm planning to subscribe to them so that's why they're still in the list spotify i will subscribe to it when i travel so it's kind of like cancel and subscribe and cancel because that's when I need it that I actually pay for the section not when I don't technically need it 
I don't listen to Spotify all the time because I'm always watching something on my phone. So when I look all of my spending on one account, these are my direct debit. So I try to separate my direct debit and my subscription. My direct debit is for my main account, which is Barclays. So when money come into Barclays, meaning my pay when I get from work, go to Barclays. And then that money, my direct debit go through there because I had to make sure that there's always money in there. So money is always there for my daily debit and it doesn't affect my credit score because if you miss to pay something it sometimes affects your credit score and it's go low and if you have a bad credit score you're not able to get get loan in the future if you want to all this kind of stuff because you need to clear your credit score before going there so to not affect that i separate my subscription and my credit score in different accounts so my barclays account mainly focus on my direct debit and then my mozo account focus mainly on my subscription my food my travel all this kind of thing that i feel like is living expenses spotify put it there before i change all of that so i'm using a different account for that now so it's what if i will be on my monzo account so on my monzo account so i have a subscription with netflix i don't have a subscription with epidemic sound i do have a subscription with canva i don't have a subscription with vida cube i have monzo plus i don't know why i had had that and i still do I want to cancel it but at the same time it comes with some benefit like it gives me more interest in my pot and that's another thing I will talk about it. This roughly calculates on both my accounts. So both my accounts I roughly spend a hundred literally on all the things that I have my subscription a month I roughly spend a hundred let you say but that's not include my rent my rent is separate so if i include my rent in it i technically spend 400 a month when it comes to all my expenses the way that tackle tv shows and stuff like that like i also have disney plus but i don't pay for disney plus the reason why i have disney plus and i don't pay for disney plus is because that my friend gave me his account to disney plus so he created a profile for me for disney plus one of the reasons why i have it is because we did an exchange i don't know if you guys know this but if one of your friends happen to have subscription to a site that you want to watch for example disney and you want to watch it but you're not able to because you don't want to pay for two subscription because you have one for and uh, let you say before netflix signing acting funny and make you paying for extra just to share the account <laughs> before that happened if you had it you could have did this he will get access to your netflix account and then you will have access to his disney account so you get to watch disney and netflix and you only pay one price technically it was like two for one in a sense that's the way i said it that's why i have access to my friend disney plus but he have access to my cinema card because i have a subscription with audience and he have access to it he get to go to watch movie for free all the time anytime he wants and then i get to watch disney for free anytime i want so it was kind of like a switch of thing because he wanted to go to cinema and then i said okay you can use my account that kind of thing which is actually cool I see that if you can find like a subscription you, your friend want and you can give him access to it and then he have a channel or a subscription that you want and he can give you access to it why not do that that will make you pay less money on things that is not necessary for you to buy two of them only for one because you share account I did that that's why I have less subscriptions and less all this kind of stuff because I share with other people and take our people subscription and uh, things that I want to watch Ap after doing all your expenses and that kind of stuff you know roughly how much you spend a month so roughly a month I spent 400 including my rent so after I did that I go back to this question that I asked myself what do I want to spend money on. what do you want to spend money on so i want to spend money on birthdays birthdays once a month but technically you can say you have birthday every couple of months depending who birthday your family is if you have relative like a big family for example yeah 
birthday is quite a couple of months or a month in between or in the same month lucky for me my mom and me have the same birthday technically only separate by two days but it's still the same month and same week so if i did my birthday it had to be with my mom so it's kind of like a combined deal which is actually i prefer and my other sister i don't really care about the birthday tell it's true i don't really care <laughs> so that one i'm not interested in so i only have two birthday to prepare every year which is the same month and the same week so that's why i create a saving pot for that i have a shopping saving which i want to spend listen i'm a girl we need to spend money on things like clothes hair beauty shoes all this kind of stuff there's a lot of things we spend money on especially girls oh nails eyebrow pedicure medical all this kind of stuff there's a lot of things you want to spend money on so i create a shopping pot for it and i will tell you what's those pot i'm talking about later on and also i want to travel i'm traveling i want to go back to my home country i want to go to other country like i've been to france i've been to new york and i'm planning to go to japan in october so all this kind of stuff I make sure that I have the money for it. Listen, I need to make sure I have money for it. So I save the pot for that. And then I create another pot for activities. Activities, what I'm talking about is things that I do with my friend mostly every week or every couple of weeks in a sense so we have week we go to cinema we go to restaurant i think this week we went to a korean barbecue restaurant i will do a video about it and post it later so we went to that we do outings all this kind of stuff so those are activities so i create a part for that and then i also ask my question why do i want to save money so i have to do another section for that and then another section for that was house i want to save money for house i want to get my own place but i don't know when down the future i'm thinking of renting first and see down the future how i feel about getting a actual house but for now i just put a saving because you never know and i also have emergency you never know what emergency may happen you may be in a situation where you are in need of money desperately so that's what i have a money emergency pod created and retirement retirement is down the future i know i'm too young to think about it but you never know when to start thinking about it that's why i have one in there and then there's kid I want to have kids so I want to make sure that when the kids are not here I save the money for when they do come and then I have the money to take care of them I don't want to depend on anyone by myself to take care of my kids sometimes like anyway so I have that created and also I have another one that is for technically I put over but so what all of this part I have been talking about in muzzle there's this section of it where they allow you to create part technically it's saving bank kind of a things by going a different account they call it pot so to put money in it with interest so you get to choose which one you want to create pot for each time you put money they accumulate interest so what i did is create pot for birthdays travel shopping activities in monzo with interest in them the other reason why i said interest is because remember when i said that i pay five pound for the plus that also increased the interest i get on those pot that i created meaning if i put money in those pot the interest will accumulate it and i'll get more money on top of what i actually put in so technically i get more than the actual process yeah for i get which is good how i go about distributing the money that i make every week because i make sure that every week money go to each different pot in my saving situation it's technically kind of different because i have a saving for house in my money box section i don't have it in my backlist technically i do have it in backlist so it's kind of like this i have backlist saving which i put five pound the reason why i put five pound on my saving in backlist is because of that i'm not technically thinking of touching them like now that saving in backlist is going to be for 
house expenses than actually the house itself that's why it's only five pounds that's going there because i'm not so sure how much money i want to put in there so i just started with five pounds for now and later on i can increase it depending on how much money i get down in the future the main the house saving part is on monzo which also accumulate money so it technically is like this every month i get 25 pounds on top of my hundred that I put every month so it's kind of like i do accumulate money how do i go about distribute the money and all this kind of stuff so how you can see down here when it comes to distribute the money i have different percentage so how much percentage you want to put of that money in different percentage you want to put that money remember we are trying to save money and also spend money so you need to be reasonable when it comes to that kind of percentage there's two options you can go for you can put half of the money in saving 30 percent in spending and 20 in other why i mean by other other is technically is not over because that's your bills when i say it's bills is bills remember when i say that you need to look at your bank statement to find out what your expense a month is that's where you want to put it so you need to be careful when it comes to distribute it so how i go about this is like because you can go two way you can go 50 percent uh, 30 percent or you can go the 70 percent in saving and 50 percent in spending 50 percent in other woods i prefer going in 50 percent because it make me able to manage the money and distribute it even though it's not fair it's technically fair so what i do is i put 50 percent of it in saving which will be 180 30 percent will be 108 and then in 20 percent will be 72. this is not a reasonable because that's not what we want what we want you want to make sure that the money is distributed fairly without you spending less or touching like your money so how you go about it because i done this percentage right now if i were to follow this percentage correctly that's how it is but this doesn't look right the reason why this doesn't look right i will tell you that's a week it's not a month it's a week so now you need times up a week so because this is a percentage for one week you're not actually looking at the month you're looking at a week so this is not a percentage for the whole month it's a percentage of one week because one week remember i'm getting paid 360 a week so you want to calculate this one for a month if you calculate 72 two times four equal 288 no can do that's 288 this doesn't work i spend 400 a month so how i go about it i will go to calculate i put 400 divided by four which will give me a hundred so in here a hundred here so how many percentage will give me a hundred all right cool after doing a little bit of rough calculation so the percentage i will put here will change to 20 27.8 to give me roughly a hundred point oh eight so if i do my calculation again roughly will be 32 that's what it is so now i need to change the other percentage to match it so that'll be 42.2 that's the percentage i will put in my saving so 151.92 all right cool so if i do that and i calculate this amount so i will make 151.92 times 4 that'll be 607 68 607.68 a month that's what's going in my saving and then this one will be so that's how my money is going to be when i do my percentage i wanted to make sure that my other which will be my bills i have the money that i saw because after checking on all this bill 
monthly spending so that would be this amount of percentage so every week I need to have on my overall saving 400 meaning that in my direct bills account which my main account is Barclays 100 pound need to be in there it cannot go below 100 pound in my account no matter what it cannot go below 100 every week I can't pass 100 that's the minimum money that need to stay in my account that's how you make sure that you're not spending the money you're not supposed to touch it after you do the calculation that you see every week and you know or you do the calculation you do every month and you know what money that need to stay in that account every month you cannot i repeat you cannot touch it you cannot touch it so what i'm saying is once you get pay either is a month a week after that money reach your account take the money for your expenses your saving and all this kind of stuff in a different account that's why i move my direct debit and my spending to two different accounts because when i have in two different accounts i know what money is a i don't have to worry about the money on my main account which is for my direct debit my bills because i know when the direct debit come and look for their money is not there i will get the trouble because <laughs> my bills or the kind of so my credit is not working that's why i have muzzle which helped me with credit your credit score go higher when you use your credit card, it go higher. Now that I did that, I need to separate it. So for spending, which is 108, I go to calculator. 108, I divide it by 4 because I have 4 pods for it. So birthday, shopping, travel, anything, I divide it by 4, which will give me 27. But I do not want 27 go in the account because I want 60 to go on travel i want 17 for birthday 17 for shopping and 14 for shop. 60 plus 17 plus 17 plus 14 equal 108 so that's what it is here 108 so after distributing this one i'll go and distribute saving so for my saving which is here so i have again four of them so i put 151.92 divided by four equal 37 okay that's a lot of money 37 emergency i'll put 37 retire 37 and kid 37.98 all right cool so after i divided this one is there so my spending money that's what i'm going to save save every week my saving that's what i'm going to save every week so in each part every week this amount of money is going in there this is the percentage i decide to do my other will be for my bills so now see what i'm going to do so let's say for example travel travel you save 60 right so you save 60 a week let's not count it with the interest because the interest not have been added yet so you times that by a week so four weeks that would be 264 a month you save 270 times it by 12 which is a year you are technically saving 2880 for travel for a year let's just imagine that you save that for two years time part two you save five thousand seven hundred and something for travel so can you imagine all the crazy thing you can do with travel with that money so let's just say that for birthday for example i'm saving birthday and i'm saving birthday once a year so birthday i save something and uh, 17 a week at times up by four which is a month i'll be 68 now at times up at 12 which would be 860 for a birthday party what can you do with birthday 800 or something you can do quite a lot you can literally do quite a lot and let's just say you don't spend all that money or let's just say you don't you decide this year birthday you're not going to celebrate but next year birthday you're going to celebrate big you times that by 
two you are literally getting 1632 for your next birthday if you don't spend it that's how crazy it is like you're saving all these things and let's just say travel or shopping shopping that you do every couple of months let's just say this year you start implementing all this kind of stuff you're not spending that money or anything this year you save all that money for next year let's see how you make so you're not shopping 17 you're not touching it you times up by four which is a month you times up by 12 which is a year you're not touching it for two years which is 1600 and something girl you're saving some money you're spending that money shopping money you know what you can get that you can get branded clothes with those type of money if you want to get like a specific brand of clothes like I don't know in a couple of years you can save that for two years and you get your branded clothes like can you imagine if you save all this money that you put in this pot for example you are going shopping instead of touching your main account or over saving you have a saving account saved just for your shopping alone you don't have to go looking for money you don't have to look to ask for bills or debt or credit because you have your saving pot that you created for that like let's just do saving for example saving you do all of them are the same so if you save 37 you save 37.98 a week you times that by four you're technically saving 151 a week you times that by a year you're saving 1828 a year you're not even touching it it's saving for a reason you're not touching it let's say you times that by five years time you're almost at ten thousand. like even though it's not close but you're nine thousand one hundred for five years i'm not touching that money and you have all of them i'm telling you money five years if you work in that job that get you get paid that little amount of craziness amount of money and you save it in that specific thing you do one year of that and you add all of them in one girl you're saving money you're saving money so imagine 10 years time because time are technically going fast in a way if that makes sense but at the same time you're saving all that money preparation for something down the future if i did that for five years i have my mortgage and uh, deposit there deposit is there like dang like my money is there so can you imagine if i had started when i did and then oh this time i did did that can you imagine it's annoying but the fact is that's how it is with money this is how i went about saving money and spend money i have to look into what is my pay slip like what all the bills are coming in I had to why do I want to save money and what do I want to save money and then I had to create pot to put each one of them different pot for each one of them for my saving and my um, spending so that I can put money in them and then when I decided to buy or go to a different country or travel or this kind of stuff I have the money saved for it so that I don't have to worry or stress myself for my bills that is meant to come in so i'm able to technically go out buy crazy things like my friends say i buy crazy thing clothes shoes bags all this kind of stuff food oh i'm a big when it comes to food especially asian food i'm big in that so go to restaurants that kind of stuff so that's me because i don't stress myself about the money because i know i have the money for it and when i see the money run out i don't touch anything for a couple of months and then the money come back in and then i do it again that's how it is when it comes to spending and then saving that's why i wanted to share this with you guys and and i think this is my take on how i save money if you guys find this information useful to you in a way and you want more detail about it or you want me to maybe clarify more i don't know if i'm explaining things correctly because i'm bad at explaining things to make sense because i tend to drag on and talk more than necessary but if you find it helpful leave in the comment below if you decide to implement this and if it work for you and i want to know your opinion what you think about it as well like if you have other question or other topic you want me to talk about leave that in the comment below and if you're interested give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.